what's up welcome back to my channel so as promised i wanted to review my mom's bike today and the reason why i wanted to do this is because these are kind of things i would have looked for in a bike i feel like if i had known what i know now so i think this is a pretty solid bike for someone who's just trying to test the waters see if they like mountain biking and it also gives you a lot of good components without having to break the bank of course with any budget bike you're not going to get you know the top of the line components on them but i think what this bike has on it is a really good start. So before I get into the specs and everything like that, I want to kind of quickly tell you guys a couple of things that I really liked about this bike. And for some, this may seem stupid, but at the end of the day, everyone has different things that they look for in a bike. And the biggest selling point for me on this bike for my mom was that it had disc brakes. I think anyone looking at their first mountain bike, this is something you should try to make sure your bike has because I've had V-brakes before and they're just a lot less reliable. Also, if you get a lot of grit and things like that in them, they just completely strip the paint off your rim. So that's minor things, but as far as braking power and everything, V-brakes are just not as sensitive to braking as you'll find with disc brakes. The second thing that I really liked about this was it already had platform pedals. It doesn't have the metal prongs in it. Of course, these are little things that you can upgrade as you go, but I liked that it already came with the bike, knowing that my mom would probably not be making any adjustments to this bike she would probably have it as is so that's another thing I liked about this bike that it already had these kind of pedals plus for someone who's new they weren't the metal prongs so if she gets a little bit of pedal strike not going to be the end of the world and absolutely destroy her shin last but not least was the handlebar this is something that I think I've talked about before with my very first mountain bike and something at least for me in my opinion really made a huge change in my riding and having a wide handlebar already and so that's what I was really looking for as well in a bike I went to make sure it already already had the wide handlebar because her starting out on this I wanted to make sure she felt like she had control and felt safe on the bike. Again guys all of these are super easy to upgrade and you might be thinking Morgan but who cares when you can just get a bike and you can just swap out parts but again knowing it was for my mom she wasn't going to do that so that was just kind of things I already wanted to make sure that the bike had. So without further ado let's just go ahead and get into some of the things that the bike has to offer. So this bike back here is the Diamondback Access XE. So as far as pricing for this bike I believe I got this bike for $400. I know it retails at the time. I think this is a 2015. I think at the time it was retailing for maybe $425 so I got it for right around that price point. So my mom really hasn't made any modifications to this bike like I said. Only thing that's been upgraded is the seat. My mom went for a wider seat. There are cons of course going with this type of seat. I would have really much rather her have gotten a much more narrow seat that really was a good fit for her sit bones but again I want her just to be comfortable so whatever works for her. So starting out this bike has 27.5 inch tires which is what I run. This also runs a 3 by 8 Shimano gearing. The one thing that I don't like about this bike is having the third chain ring. I feel like there's a lot more maintenance with having that third chain ring, but again, for this being my mom's bike and maybe for anyone who like I said, it's just getting into this. You might want the lowest gear possible. But for me, I I really prefer a 2x8. That's what I ride on my bike currently, and I really like it. It gives me more than enough gear range, but for the 3x8, I feel like that's a little overkill. For her, I'm thinking probably not necessary, but she has it if she needs it. So alloy tripled cranks, disc brakes, so for the fork, we are running a coil spring fork. It's a Suntour XZT fork and it has 100 millimeters of travel. But of course, if you're looking for something that maybe has an air suspension fork, you're going to easily add a couple hundred dollars to the bike. So this wasn't the end of the world for me. Um, like I said, it's a good starting point for her. And this is something that I also wanted to make sure that she had was way more travel than my first mountain bike had. The last thing that we just recently added to this bike were new grips. And you guys probably saw the video I did on my bike where I was swapping out my grips yet again for ergon grips and she has a lot of problems with her wrist, giving her a little bit of relief adding that platform to the grip. But overall, I really, really like this bike, especially being for my mom really getting into mountain biking. I feel like it is a great starter bike. And again, you are able to upgrade parts as needed, but if you don't, still a pretty solid bike being at a good price range. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this is helpful for someone who maybe wants to start mountain biking but they don't want to put all their money into a bike right away. I think this is a really good solid starting point for a bike. Don't recommend going and throwing, you know, a couple thousand dollars into a really nice bike until you know that you actually like the sport. It's good just to invest a couple hundred just to see if you like the sport and then you can make little upgrades to that bike and then when you outgrow it and you really realize that you like mountain biking then you can go with a nice bike and work your way up so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you like this video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys